The People's Liberation Army Air Force has grown rapidly since the early 1990s. Many new fighters have been added in large numbers, becoming the backbone of this force in the 21st century. The newest and most modern fighter of the People's Liberation Army Air Force is currently the J-20 Star aircraft, which entered service in March 2017. Although its engine is incomplete and stealth is questioned, it will certainly play a key role for the People's Liberation Army Air Force now and in the future. The J-20 is a heavy, twin-engine fighter. Its primary mission is to take air superiority over U.S. fifth-generation fighters, such as the F-22 and F-35. The J-20 is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar with a large capacity and the PL-15 very long-range air-to-air missile. Like the US F-35 fighter program, new technologies are being applied to the J-20, from supersonic air to emissions, to new star coatings, electronics, and even in the future, there will be laser weapons. China hopes the J-20 will be China's game-changing weapon. The second most capable fighter in the People's Liberation Army Air Force is the J-16. This fighter was developed by China from the Soviet Su-27, but with major improvements, especially the airframe, avionics, and weapons. The J-16 is built on an airframe made of synthetic materials, giving better durability than the Soviet Su-27 series. This is also the first and early version in the Flanker family to be equipped with an active electronically scan array radar, which provides superior situational awareness compared to the Su-35 fighter. The J-16 was designed as a Manteron fighter with equal capabilities in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. Because it is not equipped with a thrust vector engine, the maneuverability is not as good as the Russian fighters. For aerial dominance, the J-16 is equipped with long-range air-to-air missiles, such as the PL-10, PL-15, or PL-21. It can attack enemy aircraft, such as early warning aircraft or aerial refueling aircraft. The J-16 will be the main fighter to engage the F-15Cs of the US and Japanese Air Force. China is the first foreign customer of Russia's 4 Plus Plus Generation Su-35 fighter jet. The Su-35 was designed by Russia to gain air superiority over America's most advanced stealth fighter, the F-22 Raptor and F-35. China's Su-35s would readily control their airspace in the event of a war. The Su-35 is prized for its strength, especially its maneuverability. It is equipped with powerful three-dimensional thrust vector engines. The airframe uses a variety of composite materials to reduce weight. 
in terms of payload capacity. The Su-35 is capable of carrying 14 air-to-air -air missiles. The Su-35 is equipped with the powerful NO-35 Urbis-E passive electronically scanned array radar, which is a further development of the NO-11M radar that had been evaluated on Su-27M. It is capable of detecting an area target up to 400 km away and can track 30 airborne targets and engage eight of them simultaneously. IRST infrared search and track system for close-range combat and capable of detecting and locking star fighters such as the US F-35 and F-22 Raptor. In terms of weapons, the Su-35 uses a variety of modern weapons such as the R-37 long-range air-to-air missile. The R-37 is considered the most capable air-to-air missile in the world with a range of up to 400 km and it is capable of hypersonic speed about Mark 6 in the final stage of its flight. The People's Liberation Army Air Force also owns fourth generation light fighters, the J 10. Although there are still doubts about the origin of the J 10, it is generally a relatively advanced light fighter with similar features to the US F 16 and Swedish Jazz 39 Gripen. The J-10 is equipped with the AR-31FN afterburning turbofan engine for high maneuverability. The J-10 is also equipped with the AESA radar and can also use a range of advanced weapons developed for the J-16 and J-20, including the PL-15 long-range missile. However, the J-10 is only a single-engine light fighter, so its range and weapon payload is limited. The sensors found on the J-10 are of much lower capacity than the heavy fighters. J-10 mainly guarantees domestic air defense, coping with a large number of F-16 fighters of the US and its allies. There are also J-11 fighters, copied from the Russian Su-27. It has many innovations in Avionics and is the largest fourth-generation fighter in the People's Liberation Army efforts today. The J-10BG is a version with many Chinese features. It possesses a lighter and more durable airframe thanks to the application of a variety of composite materials. The new sensors, avionics, and electronic warfare systems are more modern than those of Russian counterparts. The J-11BG is equipped with LCD color displays. The aircraft is also armed with the PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile. If a war broke out, the J-11Bs would be a dominant air force against the fourth generation of American fighters. My video about the People's Liberation Army Air Force ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.